When we came in the other day, I noticed that my filter light was on. And that little thing there, it's a little light there, it's got a little fuel bowser and a little mesh thing underneath. Now that light is for your fuel filter. You've got to replace that filter when that light comes on. So when we drove in, I had about probably three or four Ks to go and I thought, all right, I'll wait till I get to camp to do it. So I'm gonna do that now. And that's the filter we're looking at changing. And I guarantee you that light comes on, you change that filter. So you need to carry one of these because if you read the manual, the manual said, take it to your nearest dealer immediately. So I don't know about you, but that would be uh, probably nearly 500 Ks from here and take about two days. So I carry a spare one and I'm just gonna chuck it in now. So it's a matter of taking off both the hoses that come to it. Off they come. All right, that's the unit there. Filter goes in there. So it's just a matter of popping these out now. Undo these. And there she is. That's the reason why it needs changing. Because it is chockers. And you can see in here, all the bits and pieces in the bottom. Now I can't see any water in there, so it's just dirt. So if you were to leave that on, and this is what happens. Let's say the light stays on and I drive 2,000 kilometers back to my service center. There's quite a very high possibility that you could damage that injection system. One goes in, like that. seal goes around there, make sure it's sitting in properly, clay plug goes in, this is on. There's a brand new filter in there, and the bowl is now empty of diesel. So you've got to fill that up. So that's what the little pump is on the top here. So you sit here, and you pump it, and you pump it, and you pump it until that goes really hard, and that's what's filling up the bowl. Otherwise, you're going to sit there, and you'll have this big airlock in your diesel system, and you'll just crank it. You'll start the engine, it'll just crank over and crank over and crank over and crank over and it won't start. Ah, so that's nice and hard now. All right, here's the trick. This is how you get the light off the dash. First of all, you leave that off. So we're unplugged, we go around to the ignition and we switch the ignition on. Don't put your foot on the brake, just go two switches like that. You go back around, you plug it on and you put your foot on the brake and you start the car. Voila, lights off. Car starts. Oh, car doesn't start. So now what's happened is I'm gonna go back around. I'm gonna go back around, I'm gonna pump that back up now because that's the airlock I was talking about. And you may have to do this several times. Ah, there we go. And there we go. So that's how you change your filter. Remember, carry a spare with you. 79 series, 70 series, 200 series, they all got it. And you're all gonna have that problem. And if you push it, you push that little bit further and go, Oh yeah, I'll wait till I get to the service centre. Mate, it could end up costing you 10 grand to repair the damage. I don't want that happening out here for me, that's for sure.